Hello guys. How's everybody doing today? Now, I once told you guys a story about my life and my early days, my young days. And for some strange reason, guys, believe it or not, I have always been misunderstood. You would think by now that would have went away all through high school. I was always misunderstood. No matter what I did, no matter what I said, it was always taken in a negative way. So here we are. And what I would like to do is, I got a message, but I would have you guys know that my message today is not for everybody. It is not for everybody. Give me one second. I am driving. Give me one second. see my face when I'm talking. Okay, I'm back. So, my message is not for everybody. Young people, they don't view things the same way older people view things. They can only understand each other's language. Body language. The words that come out of their mouths. When you are a older, mature woman, for some reason, the only thing that young people hear is blah, blah, blah. They can't hear the message. So I decided that I only want to talk to the more mature, older population, my audience. Now, when I first came out on social media, the big talk, the talk of the social media uh, YouTube street was Latrice. Everybody talked about Latrice. Okay, so I just jumped in head first, so I would talk about her also. Do little skits till I felt like she was being wrongly uh, assassinated. So I backed up off that and I did not do that. But the people all still, uh, they judged me for not wanting to talk about her. And that was okay. I, cause I can, I'm a big girl. I can take uh, ridicule and criticism. But people could hear my message. I had so many people that could hear the message that I was saying uh, when I started defending her. I would defend her against Roz. And I would just point out the things that Roz would say that was, uh, and I would counteract. I would always counteract what she would say. Like if she say up, I would say down. If she say in, I would say out. So that's what I did. I defended, uh, I had talked about Coco. 
and people that didn't care for Coco that much, they rallied around me and they loved what I said because it was never in a bad, bad way, but it was more of an advice and throwing things out like, uh, don't take advantage of people, your followers and supporters, they love you, they'll do anything for you, but just knowing that you should uh, back off a little bit with the asking for cash apps and the super stickers and the chats and help you with your nieces and nephews, everybody's birthdays and the plots and uh, you know just everything he just went to his audience for everything it was almost like a dry begging dry begging I spoke on that people rallied around me and they liked it because I was one of the ones that was speaking up for the injustice that was being done on social media. I would always speak up and tell the people that was doing the wrong to uh, not do that because we are all, we're people, human. Don't take advantage of us, you know. We like who we like, that kind of thing. I would tell, I message. Would talk, I would talk to Lele. I would always be uh, giving advice because if anybody got any elderly people in their family, in the older, older, mature adults in their family, we're always giving advice because we're nurturers. You know, we're the last of the Mohegans. One thing about it, we are the last of the Mohegans. Okay. So, I just wanted to say that. Now, the reason why today I chose to speak to my older, mature audience is because they should be able to relate to me and what the things that I be saying. Way better than the younger ones. The younger ones. They, they just can't hear me. They can't hear me. Um, it has been said that uh, I am like other elderly on this social media platform. I beg to differ. I'm further from these people. I'm further from these people. I'm not out bashing anybody. I only talk about the things that they, they're doing on social media. Like if I see an older person in my age, in my caliber, in my group of people, I would tell them, you're wrong for doing that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And then when the young people come along and say, oh, the grandmoms are fighting and uh, the old people are fighting against each other. No. No. I wish you guys would not do that. Don't compare me with the older people that are out here cursing, using all type of profanity, talking bad about uh, other people, showing a je showing hatred and jealousy. Don't put me with that. I'm not out here doing that. I'm not out here doing that. I'm not pulling on people heartstrings to get people to do things for me. I don't do that. I'm a straight shooter. If I want something, I will ask for it. And up until this point, I haven't had to ask for anything. Praise God that he takes care of all of my needs. I'm not out here asking people to uh, give me cash apps. You know, give me super chats, give me super sticker. That's all part of social media. And it comes along with the platform. So here and there, here and there, but not a pounding, dwelling asking you know uh -uh, i'm not doing that and each time i come before you guys i really try to come with a message i try to come with a message because the type of uh 
older, mature woman that I am, okay, so back to what I was saying. What I'm, what I'm doing, I'm trying to set the example. I'm a trendsetter. I'm trying to set the example of how you should conduct yourself. And being of age, an older woman, I have no idea what CC is doing or Queen David. I have no idea what they're doing. But you guys cannot say with a straight face that Granny's out here doing all the stuff that they're doing. I am not out here cursing. That's a big thing with me. I'm not out here cussing nobody out. I'm not out here talking about anybody deceased children. I'm not out here worrying about what other people are doing on their platform. I'm calling out someone else doing just that. I'm saying run your platform. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that because what God has for you is for you. You don't have to be out here trying to knock nobody hustle. Don't be out here trying to knock people hustle. Just like when Coco was doing it, I didn't come along and try to knock his hustle, but I told him, look, look, sir, you're taking advantage. Anybody come out here and ask people to give them something every single day, that's taking advantage. Every single day, every single day, that was taking advantage, and that's what I spoke on. And that's the same thing I said to our older woman on the platform. But for some reason, for some reason, that woman twists my words around every single time. And before I know it, people has been incited. People coming after me with their torch, ready to burn me to the stake for something that this lady have turned completely around. Now, I had a lot of people to agree with me on my last video when I said that I would not be out here calling that young man a murderer. What was wrong with that, people? My older, mature audience, what was wrong with me telling that lady that it was wrong for her to call that young man a murderer like that? Because most of us or a great number of us would have reacted the same way to see one of our loved ones murdered right before our eyes. We would have reacted the same way. What was wrong with me saying that? I just don't get it. I'm confused. I'm like, that was a good message. Why did they turn my message into something so ugly? Why did the lady make my message all about her and me attacking her? Why did so many people agree with what she was saying about me? These are people that has been on my platform before and rocked with me and liked me. What has happened? I haven't changed. I'm the same. I still give my opinion. I'm still opinionated. I still give sound advice. I haven't changed. So how can you all leave my platform, which is all well and fine. I don't have anything against that because people have the right to change their minds. But how can you all just uh, follow along when someone is just uh, character assassination character assassinating another person and think it's okay. And even when you all know that it's not my character. I am a caring God-fearing woman. If I see somebody doing something wrong, me and people that know me, I will speak about it. I'm only talking about the things that is being displayed on this social media platform. Do not characterize me and put me with the old women and the whatever you young folks be saying 
all the old women are fighting. No. I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. I don't like to say their names on my platform, especially QD. Don't like to say her name. And I just try not to even, I try to keep her out of my mouth. Because I already had uh, a bad experience with her when I tried to speak up for her. So, when I did it again, I know that I should not have spoken up for that lady. Because she just don't receive things well. But that's okay. I saw something wrong and I spoke on it. And this other lady... My older, mature audience, please listen. I do not care about how many cash up that lady get. Why would I care about that? That lady can't do the things I do. I'm much younger than her. We don't know what type of, I don't know. What type of health issues that she have. I don't care when people help other people. Like I said in my video. If I had more. I would give more. But I'm taking care of Uno. Number one Uno. That's me. You know. I have sons that would. Kill a rock for me. Would do anything for me. But they have family. So I don't try to throw myself on them or act like I can't get out and do things on my own. So I never impose or intrude and they will get angry at me just saying those words because they say, Mom, you're never imposing on us. You're never intruding on us. But still, I've been young before with my husband. My mom didn't stay all up in our business and spending the night and moving in and trying to tell everybody, tell us what to do. She let us learn from our own experience. So that's the type of uh, mother-in-law I am. My daughter-in-laws love me to death because I stay out of their business. I don't have pull my sons to the side and ask my son to choose me over their wives. I'm not that type of person. That is not my character. So guys, please stop letting people character, character assassinate me to you guys. I am a God-fearing woman. And I am out here just trying to do things the right way. Now, until the day you all see me literally curse somebody completely out from head to toe, saying the most unfound words, the worst words, that you can call a human being, until you all see that, don't compare me with those two women. Now, one of them pretends like they don't enjoy it. The other one is proud of herself and says it. I like cussing them out. I like, because I have a razor sharp tongue and I know I can cuss a person out and I enjoy it. So they admit it. At least they honest with themselves. The other one try to pretend like they don't like being foul mouth. You know, the first time I said anything to that lady, I said, you should stop all that cursing. Why you curse like that? Being an elderly woman, we got these young people watching us. We should carry ourselves in a better, respectful way. I got cussed out over that. And now I'm so entwined, everybody's saying, oh, y'all fighting and you just like them. How? I told the lady that she shouldn't have that type of, she shouldn't have that type of mouth out here. So how did, well, how did you all put me with her like that? I'm telling her the things that she's not representing. She is not representing elderly women older women and, and mature women. She's not. And neither is QD. The older women in my day, the women that I'm accustomed to seeing, they carry they self they carry themselves with dignity and respect. And they give respect and they ask for res respect in return. Those are the type of elderly women that I'm accustomed to being around. 
So I don't know what is this going on out here. Uh, if anybody, elderly, older, mature women understand what I'm saying, that's my message to you guys. And until then, I will be having my live this evening at 8 o'clock. If anybody want to come out and t speak more about it, then you do so. But remember, this message is not for anybody that's 45 and under. This message is not for you. You will never understand. You will not understand a message coming from a mature, older woman. You will not get it. You have to get to my age to understand what I'm saying. Until then, guys, 8 o'clock p.m., story time, ask Granny. I love you guys, and I'm not a hater. I want the best for everybody because I am a God-fearing woman, and it's the God in me. See you guys later. Bye.